Hey, here we are in Fredericksburg for the Wanderlust Half Marathon. It's going to be sunny. It will be warm at some point. Hopefully yeah. we make it through. But pretty nice. So stick around. That was a tough hill. It's getting a little warm. Three miles in. Three miles in. Oh man. But oh, we're doing alright now. So, it's not called the hill country for nothing. Well, we've already been up a couple of hills. More to come. Oh, I know. Now we're going to the country. Apparently we're, yep. <laughs> apparently we're at Admiral Heights. Did you see a sign for something? Yeah. Oh. More like General. This is tough. There are a lot of hills. Let's take a look at this. Oh man. Well, this is definitely our most scenic run. This is gorgeous. I mean, we had to run up some pretty atrocious hills. But... Yeah. The view from up here is phenomenal. Yeah. Here's some more. Far.
Hey, we're almost halfway there. Yay. <laughs> we're kind of in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, a bit. But it's nice. That's a cattle guard. Not everybody knows of those. They have some really nice volunteers here making sure we don't uh, run over them. Well, eight miles and we've been going uphill for about a mile. For about eight miles. Oh, yeah. Well, we're coming up to the finish line. The longest race since the marathon over two months ago. We feel pretty good. We'll have a recap for you. But, uh, here comes the finish line. inhaled a pizza and had some beer because we ran is that a cool t-shirt or what isn't that cute we ran a half marathon this morning we did check that out Whew. huh it's a pretty cool medal i like it i like it all right okay so so what did we do he here's here's kind of the the way I think we were both feeling leading up to this half marathon. As you know, we've been having some uh, aches and pains and we're going through physical therapy. So there was a bit of trepidation going into this run because, well... We know, have aches and pains. Yeah, we have aches and pains. Well, we and, don't want to agitate them. And it, it it's the longest run we've attempted since the marathon over two months ago. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, overall, it was a great day. Yeah, it was. It was. Uh, it really was a great mm -hmm. day. Uh, no pain. No pain at all for me. My flexor is totally fine. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, you know, real pain for me. My knees are still kind of iffy, but I'm still kind of like halfway. You ignored it for a very long time. Yeah, the did. physical therapy is going to take you longer to undo yeah. what you did. Yeah. But it was great. Uh, the hills were torturous they pretty really long, were pretty long yeah. some steep yeah and you know we don't do, we don't uh, you know you yeah. follow along uh uh we we really don't do hill training so you know that kind of took a lot out of us yeah uh in the end we finished with a pretty good time totally normal time for us yeah two hours and 54 minutes totally totally normal yeah so you want to talk about our uh it was a it was an ordeal doing this one actually yeah, it was. yeah go for it okay it was so it was it's at a it's in this town called Fredericksburg. it's a little german town um that is just far enough away from us to not really want to drive there the morning of the race right i mean we could pull it off but it would be a super early morning and just like not not really what we wanted to do yeah. so we decided to get a hotel we're gonna take the dog to uh, my folks' house. Uh, let her have a little grandma and grandpa time, and then uh, head over to Fredericksburg, spend the night, run the race, come back, blah blah blah. Right. Maybe you know, go get some beer and some food, and uh, you know, see some friends and all that stuff on Saturday, and yada yada. yada. So here's what happened instead. First of all, because Fredericksburg is this, it's an adorable little town. It's kind of a tourist. Uh, destination 
there's uh, it's the Texas wine country. There's there's wineries all around. It's a big deal. Yeah, at one point I counted twenty seven wineries. All They're just the like da, 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 yeah. da, 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 all the way down the highway. A ton of wineries. What used to be farmland is now wineries, which yeah. is cool, I guess. Yeah. But um, some of them are very very good. <laughs> yeah. Um, but what that means is hotels are very expensive and kind of hard to come by. Yeah. Um, we learned from some of our friends there that apparently sixty percent of the houses in this town are B&Bs. So you would think we'd have a lot of options there. They almost exclusively have a two night minimum oh, yeah. and we needed one night. Yeah. So, you know, you know, we, we couldn't find anything, you know, if we wanted to stay at the La Quinta for $300 a night. Yeah. And if you're familiar with La Quinta, you don't want to stay there for $300 a night. It is a perfectly fine motel, yeah, but yeah. it's not $300 a worth $300 a night in the <laughs> middle of nowhere in Texas. Yeah, right. So, uh, we had to get creative mm -hmm. <laughs> and what we ended up doing, uh, it occurred to me that this place that we went last summer, summer before? Last summer. Gosh. Last summer. Last summer. Oh. 2001. Right. Right. Hot back summer. That was our first like vacation. 2000, that we took. 2021. What did I say? 2001. <laughs> it wasn't that long ago. Yeah, yeah. That's a space odyssey. <laughs> Ooh, thank you. Thank you. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> So, like I said, we just inhaled the pizza and had some beer. We, yeah, and somewhere in there we conked out yeah, too, we so we're a little out of it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> June ish, I think it was June of 2021, we found a little, like, a little getaway. It's a, one of those millions of wineries. Yeah. It's actually near Johnson City, which is um, <clears throat> the uh, birthplace and eventual home uh, of President LBJ, Lyndon Baines Johnson. Mm -hmm. Um, and so we found this little winery, it's a little wine resort. They have these little like, you know, cabana type mm -hmm. things that you can, you know, rent and whatever. And we just had a lovely time there. Mm -hmm. And it occurred to me that this place is only like 20 minutes away from Fredericksburg. Yeah. And it costs less than the La Quinta in Fredericksburg. Mm -hmm. So, um, we booked that room for Friday night. Oh yeah. And the, the resort is like, Hey, you want to add on? We have the romance package. Huh? So we got a bottle of wine and, and, some, <laughs> and chocolates. some chocolates for like 30 bucks added to our, uh, added to our tab. All so right, and they, that's nice. They, they actually make some good wine. Their so. wine is delicious. I'm really looking forward to it. It's yeah. a bottle of bubbly. It's got to be great. <laughs> <laughs> so well, obviously we couldn't drink it last night because yeah. we had to go run a half marathon this morning. Yeah. Okay, so that's the first part. So we had to, we found a room. We figured that stuff out. Right. Meanwhile, my folks also had to um, leave... <laughs> It leave for a memorial five hours away on Saturday, so on today. So they had to leave Millie, which meant that we had to like book it back there as soon as we could after the race. So mm -hmm. our lunch plans were mixed. Mm -hmm. We ended up having dinner with some friends the night before. Um, so that's cool. So all that stuff, this, like all that stuff's been going on. So like the last 24 hours have been much more than just, excuse me, I have we inhaled a pizza. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but much more than just a half marathon. Yeah. Yeah. It was a lot, a little a lot of discombobulated. Yeah. It was a lot of driving, uh -huh. a lot of traffic. And as it turns out, there were so many people signed up for the half marathon. Uh, they sold out. Yeah. So sold we, out. we didn't expect to see that many mm -hmm. people. There were quite a few folks there. But uh, in terms of the half marathon itself, Wow, they really ran a great. It was an half awesome marathon. race. You know, yeah, uh, a lot of volunteers, mm -hmm. very well organized. the mm -hmm. The route uh, was was laid out in a way that it was easy to follow. Uh, mm -hmm. Because at, lots uh, of good markers. Uh, yeah. yeah, at certain points, you know, uh, watching watching the footage earlier, we kind of really were in the middle of nowhere. Oh yeah, you know, yeah. You know, so yeah. we started off in like downtown Fredericksburg um, at the Marktplatz, a little uh, mm -hmm. you know, uh, what's German no, square. What's known as the Vereinskirche. Uh, it's oh, like yeah. the, one of the first yeah. uh, churches set up by the uh, German immigrants mm -hmm. that settled in Fredericksburg. So, mm -hmm. you know, really a uh, beautiful place. But then we started off in town and then we ran like two miles when we were outside of town. Yeah. And then the rest of it was just like yeah. farmland, hills. What? Yeah. It was gorgeous. Yeah, it was it really so, was. so pretty. It really was. The weather cooperated. Mm -hmm. It got a little hot near the end. But that's okay. Uh, yeah. it, it was it was really nice. Yeah, and um, water stops all over the place. Mm -hmm. um, Bathroom stops. Yeah, they have porta potties all over. The yeah, place. everywhere. Right? It was really kind of neat. Yeah, we got there just in time this morning. So we had breakfast at the uh, the resort, 
we took our oatmeal cereal mm -hmm. um, and ate that. And we got there just in time, checked out a hotel, um, got our packets, got, our packets, got, got to go to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. And the pros know that there's like a brick and mortar bathroom there. There were That's right. fools waiting in line for the uh, porta potties. Right. But if you know the park, <laughs> you know where the bathroom is. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so we got a real potty stop yeah. and then the race started. Yep. And then we ran for three hours and then, oh, here's a big one. In addition, the big, big deal is that we weren't in a whole lot of pain today. That's true. The second big deal is I mentioned, I think after our 11 mile run that I really want to figure out how to not feel awful following a long run. Oh, right. And a couple of times I knew that like, if I just eat like just the right thing right after a run, mm -hmm. I tend to do better. So we're on the road. We're going to be in the car for like an hour right after the run. Mm -hmm. So... I was like, what can we take in the car that's going to be like, just like the nutrients and carbs that I need. Mm -hmm. So we took, uh, just some like slices of bread, some slices of cheese, mm -hmm. some sliced apples, mm -hmm. some pretzels. And my sweet dad made some cookies. When we rolled up to my parents' house yesterday, I was like, what kind of cookies do you think mom and dad made? <laughs> yeah, and they did. totally made us some yeah, cookies. Some so really, really fruit good. Fruit cocktail cookies. Yeah. Um, so we ate all of that, like through the whole drive mm -hmm. and it like, Kept my nausea at bay. Yeah. So win, win, win. Yeah, it was yeah. awesome. And, and again, it was a long drive, right? Uh, it was a total two hours to get home yeah. from there today. So, uh, you know, I mean, it's not like long, long, but, you know, after you've just run. Uh, yeah, I was a, a little stiff when we got out of the car. Yeah, it took me a while to stand yeah. up when I, uh, when I helped myself yeah. out of the car. But yeah. there it is. Half marathon. Uh, we're we're really psyched. Awesome metal, cool shirts. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Yeah, and the shirts feel nice too. They're really soft. <laughs> yeah, they are. They're they're, they're, they're pretty nice. Yeah. So here's the deal. Uh, we've unpacked, and we're not putting our suitcase away because we're packing again in like five days. That's right. We're headed for El Paso, Texas, for a wicked wine run. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's pretty exciting. And what's really cool is that's going to be. Uh, Three miles. It's going to be a 5K. Mm -hmm. and not to say that uh, that's easy because, you know, it's not. But it's a hell of a lot easier than a half marathon. So, And that's going to be a big deal because it's Carolyn's first 5K. It is a big deal. We're running with my niece. It's her very, very, very first uh, 5K. And uh, in her training, she has run further than she's ever yeah. run. So we are really, really excited to uh, be there with her uh, for this. So mm -hmm. we'll have footage of that. It may not arrive on Saturday. Oh, so okay. the last time we traveled and we had hotel Wi-Fi related issues getting mm -hmm. a video to post. So mm -hmm. you may not hear about that until later in the week. That's right. When we get back. Because uh, like I say, we try to post uh, once a week. Uh, hopefully mm -hmm. we'll have it uh, very soon after. Uh, so just uh, bear with us. You know, if you hit the notification button, you'll get, <laughs> you'll be notified as soon as we post. But yeah, so this is pretty exciting. You know, mm -hmm. we're we're feeling pretty good actually, um, and uh, you know, looking forward to continuing running so that when we sign up for the full marathon 2023, we're not starting from scratch when yeah. training starts. Speaking of which, just a little over three weeks, I think. And sign up for the uh, Run Disney uh, Marathon again. It just doesn't seem possible. Yeah, time is flying. Yeah. So uh, hope that if you are uh, going to, you sign up. Because then we'll get to see you out there. Maybe 2023. It's coming mm -hmm. faster than you know. Yeah. So there we go. That is our overview. Thanks so much for following. Please comment. Let us know what you're doing. Let us know what you think. It's always an adventure <laughs> with you.